Hello everybody, this is Frogman. Welcome back to Manufactio Nuclear Edition. We have been blessed finally with an update that is going to allow us to progress forward with some of the sciences that we have been kind of, well, hoping things would come up shortly. So uh, let's get on to it. We have a little bit of an interesting thing to kind of look at. Supposedly now we can actually complete this little site or this line in here because I can now finally make the, uh, well, those, 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 uh, <laughs> rad away packets that have been kind of a <laughs> pain in our tail. So rad away packets are the rad away, the regular rad away packets have been given the pretty much same recipe as the other slow acting rad away packets. So I went ahead in between episodes and <clears throat> excuse me, set that up so that we now somewhere over here, we should have the rad aways being created. I just basically took the machine. I think it was this chemical plant right here and just gave it the recipe that it needs. And it is now crafting those forests. And I've also done a little bit of just, well, kind of goofing around because there was some other things that we needed to get done and get uh, sorted. But for the most part, the pack seems reasonably stable. Nothing seems to have really broken with, uh, well, at least with our factory here, other than, well, that, which is not a huge big deal. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do to fix those. It's probably could be just as simple as, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to have to go back and probably just try to relabel them all and figure it out. And I just haven't felt like doing that. However, uh, we do have a couple of other good things going on, given the fact that I was able to get our, uh, let me see, getting, it's just basically when you start doing a little bit of once again, you know, trying to change a few things up to make things actually work a little bit faster or slower or whatever, uh, you end up kind of using quite a few parts. So in the production of building those end essence crystals, we ended up using up all of the nitrogen that we had because of the fact that, well, we were doing at least two different processes that required the nitrogen. And in that process, I ended up building another one of these machines so that we could create as many of these crystal seeds as we possibly could. So we're now making those in quite a reasonably large amount, or at least decently large enough that they're keeping up here. Um, I went ahead and shut off the aluminum up there for now because there is no reason to be using that process anymore. I have all of the aluminum that I could possibly ever want coming out of those uh, mining drone hubs. So we're doing fine over there. I also did a little bit of rearranging over here because we were not producing enough of the the uh, the side side whoop yeah, yeah, the side part or the the side uh, side 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 chemical side thingy that these are the these hydro plants are making which should be whatever that is not distilled water but this thing right here the saline water saline we need for our uh, uh I think it's the one of these other little chemicals down here that we're working on with the algae farms we were not making enough saline water to keep these red machines running so I went ahead and kind of changed that process up a little bit so that it would actually continuously run but today with all that being said blah 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 I think that's pretty much all of the major changes other than you know, the little weird things that are going on for the most part from what I've seen or at least looked through I uh, I went ahead and made it do quite a bit of work because there are going to be some new sciences that I want to unlock right off so we can kind of move forward with a couple of things space we're gonna we're gonna be playing with nuclear right off but there is some things that I want to do with you guys on camera space has now been kind of fleshed out a little bit as well as the gloop theory at least we can do gloop theory we can do gloop collectors and we can do the reaction chambers whether or not I'm going to fool with these today is going to be a a different thing but I do want to unlock space theory because theoretically we have this mining drone tier thingy tier four unlocked. I just want to make sure that this is completed. Um, and supposedly we're able to visit several of the actual planets or the, the things or stuff around elsewhere. And this, this basically we're going to, we're going to kind of play around with some of the stuff that we need to do. So what I want to do is I want to unlock this. That's going to require nine hundred production yellow research and a hundred white research which i hope i have managed to accumulate enough at this point to get that to go so let's do this submit that good and then you guys can have that back yeah that wasn't much <laughs> that that hurt but that in doing in doing this production yellow research or this this stuff right here there's an awful lot of things that have to happen in the factory so i pulled a bunch of that out and made it make a whole bunch just to make sure that nothing was broken and like i said as far as i can tell after running all of that research nothing was broken we also need some of this 
so that we can do this. All right. Does that reopen this? I should have this. Well, I mean, for that matter, I don't really care. We'll just go ahead and re-unlock it just so that we're not, um, yeah, we'll just go ahead. I already saw that I had the check mark, but we'll go ahead and do that anyway. That's fine. That'll allow us to do some stuff. Suiting up, this is another one of those silly little things. We are going to go ahead again and use the airtight seal because I did find the a villager that sells airtight seals. So we'll be able to completely skip the terrible armor that comes, well, at least I hope we'll be able to completely skip the terrible armor that comes with that. Uh, what do we get to make with this? before we get too excited. So spacesuits, spacesuits, uh, spacesuits, workstations, rocket fuel, oxygen, rocket fuel, enriched, ooh. Wow. So hydrogen, oxygen turns into rocket fuel with a little bit of that. I'll have to do the math on that if it's worth converting over everything to. Of course, we have all of the normal parts that come with all of the fun stuff here. And we're gonna have to start seeing those things. Okay, ew, I, I've, already, I've already kind of seen that. But I, yeah, I knew we were gonna end up getting into those things eventually. Rolling machines, rolling machines, nickel plates. Okay, well, we're not gonna mess with that today. I just wanted to make sure that we got the thing that we do already currently own uh, back unlocked so that we're not running around like fools. That one, that one, now. That's the other one somewhere else. Anyhow, okay, so we got that done. That was my major point. I wanted to make sure we got that sorted so that this system can start to run again and maybe use up a little bit of some of the resources that we have. It is functional. Everything, like I said, everything seems to be working. The next thing I want to do is we need to get into crafting and making nuclear science. We are not doing any of that stuff or the, whatever this science is. Uh, we have been working for quite a while over the last many episodes to get this process built and everything ready to go. So we need to go find that plan, wherever that plan is, and start feeding stuff into a, there it is, uh, and start feeding stuff into another one of these assemblers. And then I think we'll probably, since we're mostly done with the blue research, I will just go ahead and use this machine right here we'll just let it do that and we can put those in there it'll probably craft one more maybe i don't know it might not let's see uh missing input item good all right so we'll use this one here to do the nuclear research since we're pretty much done with the blue and i was digging through and i needed to find my assembler three plan so that we can build an assembler so that we can start doing nuclear science because we need to get into nuclear science Let's see, you that way, and nope, 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 dang it, pick it up, thank you. We're gonna put you down here on the end, next to this one, right there. And then I need to go get those parts, get this hooked up and get it ready to go. Let's see, where is my box? I don't think I grabbed the right one here either, okay. Uh, pipe, 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 pipe box. Let's go get that hooked up, get it making science so that we can move on doing, well, the nuclear stuff. Uh, I need a few more of those. Let me get some stuff and then we'll get that hooked up real quick. All right, efficiency number three. We do need to get after making the other efficiencies. I think we can at least get down to what is it, four at this point, four or five, so that we should probably, that's another thing I probably need to just get to working on after the fact here. So this science requires what? Hit the button so I can find it. Uranium fuel cells, medium radiation shielding, and Radaway. So just three things. Um, hmm. I really need to fix this ugliness that I did over here. I really, really, really do, but we'll just kind of not do it right now. Um, so let's see. I need the provider back here. It's just three things. So, I mean, I could just, well, I mean, for right now, we just do that. Yeah, I don't like that stuff. I really don't like it when it does that because it just kind of acts wonky at times, I feel. So we'll do something like this. Whoop, nope, 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 nope. Uh, this, this, and then we'll just come up right 
here and I'll just catch that right like so. And I need one of the other things when we get this done, we'll do this. I needed the other parts. This is the pipe box, this is blueprints. Where did you put your pipe box? I need one of the uh, basic logistics so that this can get sorted. Yeah, I gotta fix this. It's just one of those kinds of things. You kind of just build something to make it kind of work for a little while and then you forget what you're doing. Um, let's see, what we got over here is I need to do, let's see, uranium fuel cells, medium radiation, and right away. So let's just do this the simple way again. Uranium fuel cell. We'll put like that many in there and the, uh, what was it? Medium? Mediums? They're mediums. Medium radiation shielding. Medium radiation shielding. Where did it go? There it is. And we'll do like, again, like eight of them. That'll be fine. And then the red away. Red away. This, again, we'll do like that many. That's fine. That'll work. And once it delivers those. I might go ahead and just rearrange this a little bit. What was I doing? I mean, seriously. Wow, what a mess. Let me fix this. That's better. All right, so now we're going to run down here. And uh, you need the copy of this thing. What did I do with it? Hello? Where did you put it? What did I do with it? I thought we just picked that up. Oh, I put it in here, didn't I? Yes, no, yes. All right, I need a copy of this. So we can make two of those. You will be the one that does this. You will be the one that does the actual science or the, 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 the little things. Are you gonna be working? Not enough energy, of course not. You don't have any energy because you didn't put one of these down. All right, processing that, that'll do there. Hello game, let me have it back. All right, so that is going to require uh, red, green, blue, and nuclear. Red, green, blue should be red, green, blue. And I mean, I guess we just run it around to the other side, right? Yeah, probably. We'll just run it around this direction here. And then the cyan. Nope, not that one. Where is the, 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 the provider? Provider, that goes right there. And this can be... If I spell things properly, that. And I don't care. You can just keep as much in you as you want for the moment. Uh, we are going to need to make sure we put a couple of these down, even though it's not really mattering too much. We'll just, uh, <laughs> it's getting pretty ugly out here. I kind of did a little bit of goofing around, but um, I went ahead and made or bought or bought, or I should say unlocked, researched and, and kind of messed with the exchanging, exchanging gadget just a little bit, just to kind of clean up some of the stuff that's laying around. Um, I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference to do that or not, but I mean, maybe just cleaning a few things up. There shouldn't be anything else in here that is really, really, really nasty other than those things, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, for that matter, I guess I could put this one up here, but whatever. All right, so we're now making nuclear science in this machine. I need another one of the droppers that we have. Where did I put it? Dispenser. But that doesn't really matter what it is. I guess we can do this. And give me a block so I can get up here and stack it nicely. There. All right. And then that. Uh, nuclear. This stuff right there. Nuclear research. You're making your stuff. And that'll deliver that over to there. Cool, all right, we now have four nuclear research. We're going to, as I stated, we need to 
uh, get through this research and this research before we do any kind of anything fooling around with the nuclear reactors, uranium nuclear reactors or whatever we're going to be doing. We need to be able to get to that point because of the, the rareness of the two... 30, whatever this stuff is, 235. In order to get that, the quickest, easiest way to get a lot of that is going to be using the Covarex process, wherever that is right here, um, where we take 40 of the uranium-235, we mix it with a little bit of 235, and then we'll get one guaranteed every single time with a very, very, very small chance of, well, getting a piece of plutonium. So that's the Covarex process. That's part of Factorio that's been in, you know, for pretty much ever. It was in the last pack, and it's in this one as well, which is good because we're going to need quite a bit of that stuff going forward. Um, I am a little concerned about what we're planning on doing with the internal structure here. Again, I think what they're going to do is we're going to leave the majority of the outside of all of these, um, well, this, this logistics system, I'm going to probably ever so slowly just... Uh, <laughs> We're, we're going to replace the center section, obviously, because if I can get parts from one point to the other quicker, then and, and it also get rid of all of these objects floating around through the middle of the base. We are going to go with another logistics system to at least deliver stuff from one end to the other. And, well, I'm going to use that as a test to see how ugly the power, is, power usage is going to be with refined storage, um, because... It, I, I know what it's probably going to be like, and we're going to have to kind of look at it a little bit. Um, we're going to do a test. I'll build, like I said, I'll build a test world thingy where I'll probably see what it's going to be like as far as distance and how much cabling is concerned before I start ripping this apart. Because there's an awful lot of stuff that we're going to have to change out, and power usage probably will quadruple what that thing is currently doing right now once we move to refined storage, depending on whether that change has been made or not. Anyhow, um, we're going to let that run a little bit and then get some of our stuff unlocked so that we can get to the Covarex process, get that going, and then I will see where we are. So let me let that run a little while, and I will see you guys when we can unlock some stuff. All right, I do a little running around doing some housekeeping, and we end up with a little bit of stuff. So let's go ahead and unlock some of this wonderful research that we've been needing to get. There is our lead enrichment part that will allow us to turn, I think, lead into redstone, which is pretty cool, and the Covarex process, which is going to allow us to make a little bit more of the 235. And I guess since we're here, how much do I have left? 18? Probably not a whole lot. I should have done a little bit more. Um, that's going to be another one of those we're going to probably mess with in a little while. I think it's going to be logistically, logistically quite a pain in the tail to work with these, depending on how, they, um, how they're set up. Um, we're, we have to provide the radiation scrubbers with the uh, either this right away or that right away fluid and something else. I forget. Um, radiation. Let me just do this. this scrubber, scrubber, this. Uh, just the, the fluids, and then it will give us some of the ethanol back, I believe is how this is supposed to work. But yeah, we have to provide it fluid, which means they can't be up in the air very far. They'll probably end up being... I don't know how I'm going to do it. I know that they, I know that it, I've, I've used them before and that's the first time I've ever had somebody give us a point where we have to actually force a um, fluid into them to do whatever it works. I'm not terribly concerned about the radiation problem that we're creating mainly because we've been digging out from underneath the base for the most part and nothing has really gotten i mean you, there's a few spots that are really ugly like this that i haven't gone out here and cleaned up as of yet but yeah you know um thank you goodbye um so far it's not terrible and again I've, i kind of got bored and just grabbed a uh, an exchanging gadget and kind of wandered around and just cleaned up the majority of what it looks like i mean because we're mining out from underneath the base we have lots and lots and lots of dirt and for the most part like certain areas are really nice and clean again i was just kind of seeing how quickly certain things would recover what was interesting at least for the most part was that uh, in doing so, some of the local radiation went from being kind of nasty to pretty much nothing. Um, so 
I guess it's not a terrible thing to be doing. I mean, it's pretty bad still right here in the middle of the base. But out there where there was, you know, kind of just all kinds of stuff all over the place, it did kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, let's do this. Click, click. I don't want any of that junk. I don't need any of that junk. It's constantly being produced anyway. And let's get to work on Covrex, uh, an uranium thing. How do we do this? It's another isotope centrifuge. And it is going to do this, this, and this. How long is that process? Ouch. I kind of figured it was going to be a while. We might need a couple of those. Can we get two of these down here? On this end, two or three. I think we can probably put three. Ooh. I think we have enough room, maybe. Um, it might get a little tight. Let's go make three of these, see if we can get three laid down so that we can start to make some more parts so that we can start thinking about possibly running those nuclear reactors for power if we absolutely have to. They're going to be the way that we're going to get some of the parts. So uh, react, 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 react to this one is going to be a way that we're going to get a bunch of neptonium and we need neptonium in order to be able to craft these things. So the next energy crystals so that we can get to the next level of this stuff. Uh, I think we can also do it with the new, um, this stuff as well. These, uh, heh, these, these, these rate, these, they, it's another thing we're going to have to play with. I think I probably have enough, um, material. The problem is, is that stuff requires, I was looking at these, this well, real quick sidetrack here, kind of in that mood today, just to be sidetracked. Genetic manipulation allows us to create ores and things from stuff. Unfortunately, these plants will only grow on highly radioactive fertile soil and the reeds will only grow next to lava, not water. Um, I did find this and it should be right there, mutagenic soils. Again, we need radioactive waste, which I still have not been able to craft hardly any of because while well, the radiation is not enough in this area to actually produce any of the soil, I believe that's supposed to be there. I mean, I'm uh, click on the button, click on the thing. This is only got, you know, I'm assuming this is just some kind of dirt that got really nasty problems with it and I've yet to find any of it. So coarse dirt or, you know, dead earth, it, it, I, it, 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 that kind of thing, not seeing any of it. So I don't know where I'm going to find that stuff. We're probably going to have to start producing it. In which case, what I'm probably going to have to do is find some kind of really nasty radioactive thing and put it somewhere so that it can sit there and slowly produce that dirt for us or whatever that soil is so that we can actually make that kind of stuff work. But let's look at uranium enrichment. We need three more of those things and then we can go on and get the next part done so i need three and well we're going to say three of the uh the, the those enrichment chamber thingies whatever they are isotope centrifuge man i cannot for the life of me work today come on brain Alrighty then that should be three of those and we're gonna build them out here like i said i'll just put the box out here like we've been doing so we can find it um because well you know it's just easier to do this sometimes than it is to do anything else we'll just make sure everything gets in there or at least most of the way in there doesn't have to all be fine but we'll get it sorted all right i need you that's one and oh crap i wire molded it ah dang it i forget which in the heck direction these things face uh those face that direction let's go down here i hope boy it's gonna be really stinking tight in here isn't it That's the wrong way. One, two. Because I gotta be able to clear that pipe behind us. Oh, the pains of doing things the way that I have been doing things. Let's make sure we can get three of them in here then. Wow, I thought that line. I thought that line was bad. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I guess I could build some more platform. 
out here and try to maybe move it further out a little maybe i don't know um i don't like this i'm gonna have to do some work let's uh let's make a little bit of platform i will be right back Alrighty, platform built, and then we're going to need to do a rotate on the, you know, actually I want them facing that direction. We're going to put them right behind these, hopefully, actually we're not going to be able to put them right behind them, are we? Because of the fact that those ports are right there. These are big, I mean, it, it, I guess it is what it is, they're definitely plenty decent sized machines. Um, Let's scoot it. I think we're going to skew it one over just that. Well, I mean, I need to have them lined up. I can't say that. I was going to say I scoot them over one so that you'd have a little bit of room. We can do a little bit of messing around with those, but I think we'll go ahead and just push it. I guess we could put them on the other side. doesn't really matter. Here I go back and forth. I'm in and on about how I want to do things. I really, really, really need to just get this done. So let's move it forward one there. So that there's enough room to hook up some power. I, I know I could just hook a cable in here, but I do kind of want to be able to uh, move things around a little bit easier. Grab another one. That way, if we need... Doing this will allow us to build as many of these. Well, I mean, five, I think. Five is what we can fit in here, possibly, uh, in case we absolutely need to. So there's another one, and then another third one here. Like that. That should do the work for us there. And then all we're going to do, unfortunately, I kind of let the system run and made a bunch of science. So now, see, that's that's why I want to do this so that I can be able to walk behind the things. And that way you can kind of walk behind them slightly. Uh, I ran all the science up so that I kind of accidentally used up all that stuff. But anyhow, uh, we'll let this kind of work. And I think actually there should be, well, I mean, they're all pretty much empty. Fuel cells and all that kind of fun stuff. But that's the point of doing the Covrex is that you need to be able to to craft a bunch of more stuff. So in this process, we're going to just bring this line right here over because this is where our storage is going to be for these little products. Uh, I need all of the stuff that I need in order to be able to do all of the fun things, which is get that over there. And I think we start from right here and go that way. Actually, I think we'll run it. Yeah, we'll run it behind it. That makes the most sense. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so the process here is it needs 40... And this is the part that I do enjoy about the fact that we can do what we're doing here with this. So, um, U51, U51, usage on this one is going to be, whoop, no, that's not that one. Did I mess up and do this again? Where did I put them? I did. Give me my stuff back. We may mess with that later on, too, just because it's another way of getting some more uranium. All right, U-52. Use on U is going to be we need 40 uranium-235, 5 uranium-238. That's what I was wondering. All right, um, let's get these sorted. Unfortunately, that's going to get really ugly pretty quickly. Uh, we'll go ahead and put these on there and there. So, again, we're going to use this relatively carefully. It's going to take it a long time to make it work anyway. So, uh, U235 uh, is this one, and we want to get that to 40. No, I don't want that. We'll do eight on that. We already did this. Um, I'm going to have to probably wait on this to happen. And then we set that to something. I, I, I it, God dang it. All right, I'm going to hook the rest of these up, and then we can get through to the rest of this. Well, aside from creating a mob farm, what we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to use a bunch of the dead grass that I have uh, <laughs> been collecting for a little while because there's actually quite a bit of stuff happening underneath the base, so it gets kind of kind of ugly. But we're going to go ahead and toss a bunch of this stuff down over on nice this nice little area right here where we used to have our power plant originally, uh, exchanged all that stuff out for a bunch of dead grass. And then we're going to take some stuff 
that should be reasonably radioactive and put it over here um, and let it do its thing. Um, and by reasonably radioactive, I mean because of the fact that I kind of screwed up and forgot to do something with this other little deal over here. I let the science run too long. We ate up all of the, well, the U2 235 that we need. I end up needing to probably move a little bit of stuff around. So let's put some of this away in here for right now. And we're going to do as a, as a test in between episodes. I'm going to take that thing right there. There, and with what's in it can I have this back please give me thank you we're gonna put that over there in the middle of that area and probably grab or gather some other stuff up too and we're gonna start trying to pollute that area as much as we can without any protection without anything without any stuff um, yeah we're just gonna go ahead and find the middle of this thing I guess which should be in this chunk right here here and then we're gonna put a chest down with a bunch of junk in it and walk away from it i think so that should be i don't know if that's gonna be enough but it's starting to crawl upwards quite quickly i might have to do a little bit more than that but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill this thing full of a bunch of really radioactive stuff and see what happens. I'm assuming that over time, this stuff should change into some of the other dirt and whatnot that we need in order to be able to make the nuclear waste because I want some more stuff that we need from that kind of thing as well. Anyhow, I think for right now, since we've been kind of just all over the place once again, there's a bunch of things with the update I'm going to have to play with, especially with the difference in how we're going to change these things. These have a use now. Unrouted pipes have a use now past this, which is going to be converting from, where is it? It is in a grinder that will allow you to grind up and make crushed LP pipes, which are a way of being able to save uh, on all of this stuff. That was one of my major concerns was the fact that I was gonna have chests upon chests upon chests of these things sitting around doing absolutely nothing. We can recycle them to move them towards the next form of logistics, which we will probably do. We're still gonna end up with chests upon chests full of stuff because these are not recyclable and these are not recyclable, but at least the majority of the pain is going to be all of that kind of stuff. So I think for right now, guys, I'm going to wait a lot and hopefully we'll, the next time I see you all, we will have this process running uh, it's going to take 40 each of these in order to get this to produce one more uranium, but it will use <laughs> it'll use this uranium here to craft one of these, but we need 40 of these to be able to make it happen. So it will happen eventually. And I mean, I don't know. We'll just see how quickly it goes. Uh, the system back here is running just perfectly fine. And what I will do is be transporting this material here into that over there again so that we can see what happens as far as making really nasty disgusting stuff but like that just on us right now is 23 and hopefully <laughs> hopefully that'll kind of move forward so until then i will see you all later thank you so much for watching and we're gonna start playing around with the new updates going forward so bye